Okay, let's take a look at something fascinating. I'm going to explain to you two huge secrets, okay? The uh, reason the seeds grow differently on the South Pole versus the North Pole, and how birds navigate. You've seen it here first, and uh, these are huge secrets that are being revealed. Very simply, we have a, a three-quarter inch neodymium iron magnet uh, ceramic, and we have a ferro cell. Now let's look at one pole here. Here we see the hypertrochoid pattern. It represents either quote-unquote pole of a magnet. Now let's lay it on its side so we're able to see both poles. Now, if you look really closely, let me get it over here so you can see it better. Hmm, it's interesting. You see this a bluish shift here? Blue corona and a reddish corona over here? Yes. Instantly, by looking at the color, I'm able to determine that this is the South Pole because it is compressed. And here is the North Pole because it is rarefied. How does this explain bird navigation? How does this explain seed growth? There is an EM phase shift retardation on every magnet that is shaped like an egg. The egg would be shaped like this. Ratio of phi to one. The uh, South Pole being phi and the North Pole being one. This is technically called electromagnetic retardation. It is not a curvature of space. It is simply an electrical effect. Einstein was incorrect. There's no such thing as curved space-time. Nikola Tesla said that this was a crackpot idea, quote, doomed to failure. And, of course, Nikola Tesla was right. He's always right. Um, Aristotle said this, that space is nothing. It has no properties. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton said this. Nikola Tesla said this. And these three people individually are far smarter than Einstein, and collectively they are way smarter than the idiot Einstein. But how does this affect seed growth? What we have here is a bubble, an electromagnetic bubble, without getting into super fine detail that would make your eyeballs cross, a, a large bubble of compression, which accelerates things, growth, especially the polarized uh, water molecule. And over here we have rarefaction. It occurs at a ratio of 1 to 5. How do birds navigate this way? Well, in the geographic North Pole, okay, the geographic North Pole is where the Earth's magnetic South Pole is. And the geographic South Pole is where the Earth's magnetic North Pole is. So, in the Southern Hemisphere, the magnetic pole is here. That's why birds... We always, we've known for quite some time that birds navigate via magnetism, but there's no animal even birds that can see magnetism. What they see is the effects of magnetism on light entering the atmosphere. And when birds turn their pretty little head towards the south, they see a red shift. When they turn their heads towards the north, they see a blue shift. That's right. A blue shift towards the north, because that's where the Earth's magnetic south pole is. Now, this isn't my premise as far as uh, you know where the magnetic poles of the Earth are. I mean, a thousand websites will tell you that. But, like I said, we've known how birds navigate via magnetism, that they do navigate, but birds can't see magnetism. So no one's ever explained that. So this is uh, actually what's going on. The cryptochromes and birds' eyeballs, their peepers, they are detecting a color shift in the light. So it's really, really simple. A dumb animal. Well, birds are smart. Yeah, but they're still dumb animals. They navigate really simply by looking at different colored light. The bird knows it is heading towards the north if it sees a red shift. It's heading towards the south if it sees a blue shift. It's really simple. I mean, you don't get no more simpler than that, does it? I mean, it's like I'm heading north. How do you know? It's a uh, it's, uh, red heading south. How do you know? Uh, I'm seeing a blue shift. This is how birds navigate via magnetism. Ta-da! 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 This is also the reason why seeds grow differently under each pole. Magnetism. Magnetism. There. There. Slightly bluish. Other side, slightly reddish. Mmm. -hmm. Red halo. Simplex bending of light. The white light from the sun or the white light from these LEDs doesn't make any difference. Same thing, except on a smaller scale. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff, whatever makes you happy. Mother Nature is a simple girl. She's so simple.
she's yelling at you going, you're so stupid, meaning human beings, you're dumb, I'm really simple, but you're trying to make me complex, and I'm not. Nature is very simple. It's not that nature is difficult, it is that human beings are dumb. DUMB! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.